All right, everybody. Well, here it is. The kit is complete. The car is driving and I cannot put into words how happy I am with uh, just the experience of being able to drive this car. It's been over a year, obviously, since I started this project. Um, I taught myself how to do it uh, as I went along, learned new skills, and uh, it's just been a massive undertaking that a lot of you guys have stuck around with and watched. And I could not be more thankful for you guys uh, who've been so supportive. You guys are awesome, thank you so much. Also, a big thank you goes out to my family and my fiance who have just been incredibly supportive of what I wanted to do with this car and me investing my time, effort, and energy into to making it happen. Uh, my fiance especially, I couldn't have done it without her. She was here uh, helping me with the car and helping me save time and get it ready for Import Alliance. It would not have gotten done without her and so I cannot thank her enough for her support. As far as the car goes, I, uh, I'm extremely happy with how it turned out. Obviously, this is all started from just kind of a vision in my head about what I wanted the car to look like with the one end bumper and the fender flares and everything. And you know, the idea in my head was I wanted to accentuate what was already amazing about the M3. Uh, a lot of enthusiasts love this car. It's just a pure masterpiece by BMW. And a lot of people hate that I change stuff, but that's what people who love cars do when they wanna tweak something or adjust something, they make it their own. And I've done that. I think driving it now, I've accentuated what I always loved about the car. And that was the ability to put the power down through turns, through straights, whatever it may be when you're driving, when you're enjoying the car. Uh, you want to have that power, you want to have it planted to the ground, and you want to be able to move and be super agile without losing traction or anything like that. And that's exactly what the car does now. The wider wheels really help uh, take the car to another level. The racing seats really hold you into place. It's just a different experience entirely, and it's exactly what I imagined. And it puts a smile on my face every single time I drive it. Now, as far as where the car is now, obviously it's never going to be fully complete. I'm never going to stop modifying it. Uh, there's just too much that I see that I want done to the car So there's always going to be little things here and there to tweak and to adjust and make a little bit better So that's what this channel is going to be about now that this huge project is done I can move on to other things and that's what I want to put up for you guys So you can see what I'm doing and hopefully there'll be Universal modifications that you guys can do to your car whatever it is you drive it doesn't have to be an m3 um, but I want to show that to you guys because I think it'll be interesting and I'm going to enjoy doing it so I might as well film it and put it up for you guys. But for right now, I just want to take the time to enjoy the car as it is and uh, then continue to modify it. Alright guys, well that is going to do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Also, if you guys want to leave a comment down below, I'd love to read those and respond to those. So make sure you guys do that. Also, you guys can check out my Instagram page. I've been dormant on there for the last month or so, but um, I can finally get uh, back to posting pictures and, and stuff of the car as I'm doing it. That way you guys can stay up to date as far as what's going on on the channel. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. Thank you guys again for all of your support, and I can't wait to see you guys in the next video for the next modification to the M3. Have an awesome day, guys.